Friday night. Nice look, that's classy. Um, hey, real quick before I go, uh, if, if you're here tonight, I'm assuming you're a fan of Jim Jeffries, that's the show you're at. He has a weekly podcast called the I Don't Know About That Podcast. I'm sure some of you here listen to it. I'm a co-host on it. If you're not listening to it, you listen to podcasts and you love Jim, download it. It's on Apple, Spotify, all that shit. Just, I don't know about that with Jim Jeffries. Look it up and listen to it. Okay, Fabi, thank you. Well, that's rocking up the charts. Um, anyways, our next opener also has a podcast called Long Story Long. You can hear it on Sirius XM. Put your hands together for Lisa Curry. Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so much for coming out. Yeah, exciting. Um, I am so tired of COVID. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, I'm trying to be careful, uh, but I can't take it anymore. I'm trying to like knock everything off my bucket list now that we're like towards the end of it, I guess, or whatever this is. I'm just going crazy. I'm like, I'm just gonna travel, fuck it. I'm doing everything I wanna do. I'm doing all kinds of wild stuff. Even stuff that's not on my bucket list. I had a cigar the other day for the first time. Yeah, I was at a dinner and this guy just handed it to me. He's like, here you go. And I was like, I don't know how to smoke a cigar. And he's like, just suck it like a dick. And I was like, all right. So I shoved the whole thing in my mouth and started crying. I was like, is this how you do it? <laughs> Like the one time they could have told me to not swallow, you know, like, thanks. <laughs> Would have liked a heads up, thanks so much. Uh, I adopted a puppy during quarantine, anyone else make that life-changing decision? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know why, because uh, life was just so stressful, I was like, you know what would help? Three guys of hot shit a day. That would <laughs> change things, and it did. Uh, I live in Los Angeles, so everyone there likes to harass me. They're like, did you rescue? Did you rescue? Like, they're the fucking dog cops. Everyone's like, did you rescue your dog? Did you? I'm like, yeah, I rescued my dog, okay? I went into a burning building and got her up, all right? Get off my ass. Like, no, what I actually did was I gave somebody too much money for something they found on the street. That's what really happened. You know, like, mattresses are expensive. And if your friend was like, hey, I found a mattress on the side of the road, how's 200 bucks? You'd be like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> But a stranger was like, hey, we found this wild animal covered in bugs in a dish. And I'm like, ooh, how's $500? Will that cover it? Is that enough? <laughs> like, the whole deal with street shit is it's supposed to be free. I was scammed. And, like, living in Los Angeles, this rescue had the nerve to tell me. They're like, we rescued her all the way from the streets of Tijuana. I'm like, you mean for a two-hour drive I could have saved myself $500? <laughs> Don't tell me that. <laughs> Uh, of course, I have to walk her. She's still learning how to use the toilet. Um, and the thing with cities, I don't know if you guys noticed this. I'm sure dog owners notice this. There's just chicken bones everywhere. That's just a feature in cities. It's like somebody's out there sprinkling them around trying to grow a Popeyes. I'm like, what the fuck is going on out here? And they're so bad for dogs. They can kill dogs, you know? And so, like, she'll grab one and I'm like, drop it. And she's like, I had these in Tijuana, you bitch. And I'm like, well. You've been rescued. <laughs> I, uh, I grew up in rural Indiana where people raise their dogs differently. And by differently, I mean they just open the door and the dog goes out. And if it comes back, I guess it was meant to be. You know, like that's super cash. <laughs> I'm like so protective of my dog. My brother was making fun of me for having a dog in a city. He's like, I can't believe you have a dog in a city. I would never have a dog in a city. And I'm like, why? He's like, you gotta pick up its shit. Like, I don't mind. Honestly, I kind of like it, if we're being honest. Because I have a 70 pound German Shepherd, so like, I feel safe when I'm walking with her, but I feel safer when I'm walking with her and I've got a bag of shit in my hand. <laughs> so here's the thing, you know what I've never heard with a bag of dog shit in my hand? Yo, let me give you this dick! Not once. <laughs> No one stops, no one even slows down, they just keep it moving. <laughs> like it's better than mace. <laughs> I'm gonna start selling shit after the show as ladies. <laughs> I was walking her the other day and uh, she took a huge dump, like a really huge dump, which is crazy because she doesn't even drink coffee. So I'm like, where is this coming from? You know? <laughs> that looks familiar. <laughs> and, <laughs> I 
I went to grab it, I realized I didn't have any bags on me. Now, like, I'm adventurous, but I'm not going to free hand some dog shit, you know? Uh, but I'm also a good neighbor, so I'm like, I am going to pick this up. So I go home to get bags, I drop her off, grab the bags, come back, grab the shit, and then realize, oh no, now I've got a bag of shit, no dog. <laughs> It's not a good look, guys. I'm just like walking down the street picking up random trash, like just out here being a hero. It's not like a fetish or anything, you know? Not a fucking creep. <laughs> I had to up upgrade to a king size bed. She sleeps with me. You guys already knew that, though. Like, I'm a white lady. Um, <laughs> I upgraded to a king because I thought, like, oh, that would, you know, give us plenty of room. She just lays in the middle like she's at the fucking Four Seasons or something, just like <laughs> totally spread out. I'm on two inches of bed on the edge. I'm like, do you mind? But no? Okay. Now I'm on Amazon looking at dog beds, like I gotta have somewhere to sleep, you know, so. Uh, not to brag, but I have really good health care right now. I know like statistically four people in here probably have health care. Um, congrats to us. <laughs> Don't worry though, it's running out at the end of the month, so like I've got a couple of days left, you know. Because my health care is running out, I've just been going to the doctor constantly. Like, nothing's wrong with me that I know of. I feel super healthy, but I'm just at the doctor like three days a week, just like trying to get it all in, you know? Just like whatever I can do. I went to a rheumatologist a couple weeks ago. I don't even know what the fuck they do. I just told my doctor, I was like, oh, is that free? Put it on the calendar. I went in and the doctor's like, how can I help you? I was like, sometimes my hands are cold. Is that a disease? And he's like, no. And I'm like, this was free? Cool, bye. <laughs> I got a skin cancer screening. I actually got two skin cancer screenings in one week. Cause I went in the first one, she just did like a once over. It didn't really feel very thorough. So I asked for a second one. I, and I had never been before, but I'm like, that doesn't feel, I felt like, like the, what happened was the first one I went in and I felt like the lady was like, I don't wanna look at your body. Like that was the vibe, you know? So I asked for a second referral, I go in. The next lady, I was like, hey, look, I, I just had a skin cancer screening earlier this week. Did feel really thorough, but you could help me out. My insurance is running out. She's like, I got you. I don't know if you guys have ever done this, <laughs> but they're very, very thorough. Like she's going all over my body, looking at every freckle, you know, like kind of looking at my hair a little bit. I'm like, okay, all right, lady. I just wanna, I just wanna make sure I don't have any like weird freckles here. At the end of the exam, she gets to my butt without warning, pulls my butt cheeks open, looks in there. <laughs> what the fuck? I was like, oh my god. She's like. Everything looks fine, no cancer. I was like, yeah, not a lot of sunlight getting in there. <laughs> it's famously called, where the sun don't shine. A lot of people call it that. Thought you would know. Here's the thing about healthcare in America, too. The first lady didn't do that. I had two skin cancer screenings. One woman peered into my asshole, and I can't tell you which one of those was correct. <laughs> I have no idea. Was I assaulted? <laughs> Someone tell me, <laughs> please, I need answers. <laughs> I hate the arguments against giving us health care. We should all have health care. Like, every government building should be on fire until we have health care. I'm so mad. I don't like, I, will, I refuse to call it free health care. It's not free, we're paying for it. I hate the arguments when people are like, well, you know, we can't give, any, give anyone health care because, like, the beautiful thing about the system we have now is you can choose your doctor. Like, you can't get to the doctor, but like, hypothetically, if you could, you could choose them. It's like, it's not that serious. It's not the NBA draft, okay? I found my gynecologist on Yelp. I go to my dentist because he's hot. That's it. That's all of it. I don't even know if he's a dentist. I'm like, I can't possibly have that many cavities. But he's like in there drilling away, talking about his motorcycle. I'm like, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow, I guess, you know? <laughs> Ridiculous. The other argument I hate is that we can't afford it. The fuck we can't afford it. I hate when they're like, well, we just don't have the money for it. We just gave three, $3 trillion dollars to Space Force. What are you talking about? <laughs> We're training 15,000 troops for Space Force right now, today, Friday. We are. Like, there's not 15,000 people in this country smart enough to, like, convincingly play an astronaut in a movie, let alone... <laughs> what are we doing? It's also like, what are we, what are we assembling Space Force for? To look for aliens? They're here, they're here, they're among us. There might be some here tonight. You know how you can identify them? Yeah, they're people that are like in their 40s-ish and still don't know how to be a fucking person. Like those, 
Like, you know, here's how you can identify one. If you're on an elevator, right, and you're waiting to get off, but the people on the next floor get in before you can get out, those are aliens. They don't know what's up. <laughs> when your plane lands and the guy in the back seat jumps up right away, <laughs> like he's going to be the first to get off, that's an alien. I was on an international flight recently, by the way, with an alien. Here's how I could tell. It was a 17-hour flight, this guy sat by himself in the middle row. First of all, red flag, why are you choosing a middle seat when there's plenty of availability? Sat by himself, did not turn the television on, stared straight ahead the whole time, drinking a glass of milk. You think that's a human? <laughs> there's no chance. A 50-year-old man just guzzling a fucking glass of milk by himself? No. Any man with a backpack, alien. <laughs> I don't know, what is it about men, like, women, like, we have purses since we're, like, six years old, because everyone's, like, our moms are, like, people are out to kill you, you know, you gotta carry a knife and mace and a rape whistle and all this other stuff, and then, like, you hit 12 and they're like, now you're ugly, you gotta carry makeup. <laughs> So it's like, I know where my body is, I know where my purse is. A man's like, I gotta bring a computer into work, and he's like, chuk, chuk, and then just like, kush, 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 running into everything. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm in my late 30s, won't be having kids. Uh, <laughs> turns out this is just too fun. <laughs> But I still have that like desire to nurture, you know? I like, I need that biologically. I do a lot of skin-to-skin -skin contact with my dog. Um, <laughs> it's good, it's good for her growth, I'm a mom. <laughs> that is the fun thing about living in Los Angeles. Everyone says they're like a dog parent. So I'm like, I'm not unemployed, I'm a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> That's what's going on. I like a need to save things, you know? like. When I fly on a plane, I like to sit in the emergency exit row, not for the extra leg room, but because I want the chance to be a hero, you know? <laughs> like when the stewardess comes around and they're like, oh, sorry, we're not supposed to say stewardess anymore. Uh, when the sky waitress comes around and she's like, <laughs> you know, in the event of an emergency, are you willing to help? I'm like, fuck yeah, I've been reading this thing for 20 minutes. Are you kidding me? Should we do a dry run? I can show you, I can pop that door right out. I got this. <laughs> I'm good in an emergency. I uh, recently got really into sexting. Is anyone else doing this? Yeah, I, it's, it was a long time. I resisted for a long time. I used to like lecture my friends. I was like, I can't believe, can't believe you're sending naked photos to some guy. He's gonna send him some other guy. Who's gonna send us some other guy? And then all these guys will have seen you naked. And then one day I was like, oh fuck, that's the whole point. <laughs> like, what am I doing? <laughs> Like, if more dudes see you naked, more dudes want to fuck you. That's it. That's the end of the equation. It doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter what shape you're in. You don't even need to have a head. Guys don't care, you know? <laughs> like, every man in here has fucked his couch, maybe this week. <laughs> this morning. <laughs> One time I did this bit, and after a show, a guy came up to me. He's like, you know, I used to fuck my fridge. And I'm like... <laughs> I don't even want to ask how, but like, this isn't a support group. Like, you misread <laughs> what I'm doing here. <laughs> really love doing comedy. What's uh, ha been happening recently, there's this new phenomena where uh, after shows, I have a lot of like uh, middle-aged guys coming up to me. It's always middle-aged guys, I'm sorry. That's just the truth. And they're like, yeah, it must be so hard doing comedy now. And I'm like, uh, I'm sorry? And they're like, you just, you just can't say anything anymore. And I'm like, I, I think I said everything I, I wanted to say. <laughs> they're like, yeah, you know, you just gotta look out. You can't say anything anymore. I'm like, what is it you wanted to say? <laughs> what are you trying to say that nobody's letting you say, man? <laughs> Tell me right now. Just whisper it in my ear. Like, it's never, it's never anything nice. Nobody's ever coming up to me and they're like, yeah, you know, it's just so hard to say I love you to your dad after 40. It feels weird, you know? <laughs> Like they want to say rude shit to people. It's like, there's no cancel culture, there's fuck around and find out culture. <laughs> it's like, why are you fighting so hard to say the word retard? Like, find another way to describe yourself, you know? Like, it's not... <laughs> I don't 
not that hard. <laughs> I, uh, I really love the environment, uh, which feels like loving my dad. Like, it's just not mutual, you know? Um, okay. <laughs> I do think we're fucked, though. I'm like, it's... It's kind of game over. I don't know if you've seen any kind of like documentaries or anything, but I'm like, oh, we're done. Why are we still recycling? Who cares? <laughs> you know? We finished it. We finished Earth, you know? Uh, <laughs> I still, you know, I like try to do all the things they tell you to do. Like, I, I do recycle as much as possible, which is like never, you know, because it's so inconvenient. It's like, who has the time? <laughs> um, California is always in a drought. Since I've lived there, they're always like, we're in a drought, you know, so I like do everything our governor tells us. They're like, you know, you gotta piss in the toilet 15 times before you flush it to save water. And I'm like, all right, no problem, I got it. You know, I just like have a piss cauldron in my house at all times. <laughs> like, you know, something's not right when you, people come over and you're like, hold on, I have to flush the toilet before you can come in. Like, that's not good. That's a bad sign. <laughs> I was, was reading this article the other day. You guys familiar with the uh, Pacific Garbage Patch? So apparently a big problem we've got where there's a big patch of trash floating around in the ocean. And all these scientists are really concerned about it. They're like, we got to get it out of the ocean. And I'm like, okay, first of all, why? You know, like, if I wanted the trash on land by me, I wouldn't have thrown it in the ocean in the first place. So, like, <laughs> get a clue. Uh, <laughs> But their whole thing is they want to send out like a couple of boats with a net in between and start scooping it out bit by bit, like it's a school of tuna or something. It's like, it's twice the size of Texas. It's too big. <laughs> I'm sorry, that would be like the governor. If the governor was like, everybody grab a handful of the state, we're just gonna move it over a little bit. Like that makes equal sense. So I'm like, I don't know why we're still calling it a patch anyway. If it's twice the size of Texas, like, a patch is what your grandpa has to move off the hole in his throat so he can smoke out of it, you know? <laughs> this thing is an island. <laughs> like, we should just throw some dirt on it, stick a flag in it, and start sending people there. Like, that's it. We're done. We can start sending people there we don't want around anymore, too, you know? Like, you don't want to vaccinate your kids? No problem. No judgment. We have a place for you to live. <laughs> a new country. <laughs> Child molesters, we've got a place for you to live. And look, I'm gonna put those groups together because those kids aren't living long anyway. Guys, it doesn't matter. Um, all right, that's it for me. Thank you so much. I'm Lisa Curry.